Seth, if, if you don't mind, uh, could you take us through the, the first interception and then what happened on the fumble in the third quarter? Well, the first interception, it was just Larry Mann and kid broke on the ball. Uh, there was a lot of pain fighting at the top of the route. I thought it could have been uh, a PI call personally, but I haven't watched it back yet. So, and I'll, I'll see on film what it was like. And then it's just the, the fumble, it's just, I should have had two hands on the ball, ball security, the ball's issue on the ball. Uh, all that stuff is preached to us by our coaches every single day. So, I mean, a lot of a lot of the main factors that didn't go this way in our game are on me. So I just got to, I mean, get better, obviously, do better, talk to my teammates, and, I mean, get it fixed. If you can, take us through the locker room. I know a lot of the guys in there, maybe you in high school, not common losing it three games in a row. So how are you guys processing these last three games and these issues, whether it be turnovers or the self-inflicted mistakes that you guys um, have, have mentioned to us? Yeah, I mean, like I said last week, same same idea, same concept. The super seniors and all the older guys are really picking us up and letting us know it's like not the end of the world. But I mean, the way I look at it, every single game, I'm, I, it's on my shoulders, you know. I'm I'm the more, I'm the reason I'm the I'm the reason my seniors I'm letting them down you know so just gotta get right. Frank, except in that first half, you guys put together a number of of quality drives, but you know a few of them stalled down there late. What happened uh, on some of those drives uh, that kind of caused them to stall and have to for, uh, force you guys to kick those field goals? I mean. It, it was just the way that each and every play developed. We got into third and third and short, third and medium opportunities, and the plays didn't work out the way that they were supposed to. I mean, we're missing we're missing block or some something of that nature, and that just led the, led those drives to stall on third downs, and then uh, missed a couple of kicks. So. I know this is the first time in, in in your college career where you have to prepare for a short week. Um, how does that change your preparation mentally having to, to do this quick turnaround so fast to, to get ready for Navy? I mean, at the end of the day, I'm at the facility, I mean, basically all day, every single day. So just going to watch that much more film, say that that much later, and mentally just keep watching their defense. I mean, may have an earlier game, but it doesn't change the fact that we prepare to the best of our ability every single week. So. Sure. ASAF, man, I know you guys put up big numbers and you, your guys are always talking about controlling the ball. Outside of the turnovers, what can you guys do different to control the ball and control the game more effectively? I mean, I thought we did, we did a good job uh, controlling the time of the possession of the game. But like you said, I mean, all those stats, all those passing yards, all the offensive production, it doesn't matter when we don't score, when we don't finish drives. When I turn the ball over, I mean, that stuff doesn't matter. The yards don't matter. Like, we always preach team over me. Like, accolades don't matter, really. So, if we're not scoring points, then what's the point? So, I may be throwing for 400 yards, but if I turn the ball over three times in a game, don't matter. Brian. Hey, Seth, uh, you, you ran the ball a little bit more, uh, you know, than previous games. Are you getting more comfortable if, uh, if stuff's breaking down using your legs? And can we see – or do you think we're going to see more of that in the future? Uh, you know, whatever it takes, whatever play is called, I'm going to try and execute it to the best of my ability. And, yeah, I guess you could say become more comfortable running, running the football. There's a couple plays in which my O-line kicked it defensive line upfield and there was a place for me to go. So uh, just trying to extend plays, extend drives, do whatever it takes to help the team.